What's up, everyone? Welcome to a new review. Uh, for reasons, we had to take a pause on Final Fantasy at the time of recording, so today I'm going to fulfill a request given a long time ago from my good friend Melissa R. Martinka. Uh, she requested I review the Lunar Silver Star Story Complete game. Now, this is a re-release of a re-release and we'll get into the history of that here shortly but it, it was the version i played was on playstation one as you can see here on the uh, screen and it came with an amazing packaging and this is something especially from work and design studio who uh translated and uh published these games here in the west i mean you had the, the instruction manual is there in this leather-bound, well, like, full-color art ever, all over it. Then you had a making, a making of CD, you had a soundtrack, and you had, of course, a two-disc thing. And what you're seeing on the screen is only one version of the game. There were, depending on when you bought it, you could actually get different uh, CD art on there, like... It's now granted. Like these days, this would, this would be you know a hundred and fifty dollar set. I, I don't remember what I paid, but I know I had gotten this game, and it came. What it's not showing here is that it was actually a a punching puppet, a little boxing puppet. You could get for pre order from my local electronics boutique at the time. But it's a uh, it's a fun old school RPG. Originally, it was released on Sega CD. In 1992, as just Lunar, the Silver Star. And then another re-release in 1996 on the Sega Saturn, it was released as Lunar, the Silver Star Story. And then <laughs> PS1 and beyond became known as the Lunar, the Silver Star Story Complete. And then other little variations here and there. It's the story of Alex. He wants to be the, the Dragon Master, like a uh, uh, knight before him known as Dine. Him and his, his cat slash, uh, you know, for a little spoiler for the story. Although Null insists she was always a dragon. But yeah, a, uh, her, his cat dragon Null. As well as a wide cast of interesting characters. Include Luna, his childhood friend. Who has a big plot to play in this. It's, it's as cookie cutter as you kind of get in some aspects uh, as far as the story. It's, uh, you know, hero, a boy a boy from a small town wants to be the hero, save the world, save the princess. And nothing wrong with that. This is, uh, what they did add in the, this new iteration, like here on the PS1, is uh, combat in the, on the world map as well. And what this also has, though, too, is enemies on screen. So it's not random encounters you can actually avoid if you wanted to. But the big appeal for me, especially when this game came out in 98... Was as you can see, it's a hella anime art style, and to me, it always struck me as very uh, Tenchi Muyo, for those who remember that that's uh, original series, uh, and I love that. It's it's gorgeous artwork. It's uh, for the time, the anime cutscenes were amazing, and just me and like I said, '98 was definitely I was already in anime, but this you know stuff like this was just my bread and butter, as well as like, uh, and with it. it your mileage would go different depending on um, how much you like pop culture references, even in medieval RPG. Work of Designs was really known for doing that in this era, which really, this was like the peak of that company's era for their translations, making like modern humor in there, maybe some occasional references. I don't remember it being too big, but uh, yeah, it's been a very long time since I've played this, sadly. I still own this and the sequel, Lunar uh, 2, Eternal Blue. Which uh, I'll get to. How, I, I don't know if I'm going to review that one because honestly, I never beat that one, and I've played, but I've played this one so many times. It's for Final Fantasy is like you know, of course, my franchise, but Lunar definitely deserves in this at least this version. I never played the Sega CD, never played the Saturn versions, but this this iteration I think holds up just as high as some of the better Final Fantasy games. It's it's a fun game. It's a classic game. Anime cutscenes. The anime be as big as it is. I like the last. The last re-release was on uh, PlayStation Portable, which uh, they kind of revamped some things. Maybe better translation. I'll be honest though. I think I like the old one. 
especially the opening. They they uh, they translate because here's the thing, especially about anime openings. If you ever heard like the English adaptations, and they did it for here. I played. I didn't get into the lyric part of it. Didn't have time. But the opening was from the original PS1 version, which I specifically got because I like it better than the actual trans, like the, the literal translation, which doesn't always work. And like you'll see that because unfortunately, with you know Japanese to English direct translation re- isn't always the better way to go. Sometimes you've got to have a little, a little changed to make, but still make it within the spirit of it. But anyway, enough on that. If you can find this game, I absolutely recommend it. I wish there was some more like digital re-releases for modern. Like I would love to get part one and two on the switch or even any, any of the modern consoles. I don't know what the, if it's publishing issues because working designs no longer exists, but I'm sure there are reasons why we haven't really gotten Anymore. We had some failed kind of like follow-ups and spin-offs and some remakes on like the Game Boy Advance and DS. So unfortunately, I th- think Lunar is pretty much done, but it's an absolute classic. I would highly, again, highly recommend it. And yeah, if you can find it, get it, play it. As soon as I can find me at work in PlayStation 1 or 2, I should really do want to go back and play these, so... Hopefully one day uh, I can do this. I can bring you part two as an actual legitimate review. But that's going to do it for today. Uh, Tune in next week. We should hopefully be back on Final Fantasy. Uh, Just had to delay 10 for reasons. I'm I'm excited for it, though. The delay had to happen. Uh, So stay tuned then. Like, comment, subscribe, and please share the video around. We'll catch y'all later.